in the years that followed the release of This Is The Warning, um, not only having some pretty heavy personal experiences go on within the band, within the unit, we also um, became citizens of the world rather than just you know, five guys from Brisbane travelling around. We definitely came back from overseas, better players, um, with with heavier on our mind, I think. We all have heavier backgrounds, so to come back from overseas touring with these heavier bands, uh, we were definitely influenced. The turning point was pretty obvious when they came back from a tour of the US where they were supporting animals as leaders, and from that moment on it was uh, all about yeah, heading in that heavier direction as opposed to writing music for radio and, and, and pop music. Um, whatever their decision uh, in, in the in this scope of the songwriting and where they wanted to go, that's you know I was fine with. I'm not here to try and force them to make a record they don't want to make, and just trying to get the best out of whatever they're producing, the you know the songs that they're writing. Becoming more aware of the music scene on an international level, I think. I've definitely seen that since touring in other countries. We've done three tours of America now. Um, it's been predominantly with a lot of heavy bands over there because of our American label, Sumerian Records. And I think just seeing that kind of amazing um, music every night really affected my brain personally when it came to rhythms. And I guess a slightly more complex nature to the way uh, a song can be shaped and crafted and the attention to detail and the levels. And the band have played a lot more, they've played in bigger arenas in front of a lot more people. Um, and I think definitely that has made them all better players. Um, I've definitely noticed uh, a massive level jump in everyone's playing ability in the studio um, from from liquor, you know, putting down drum tracks and and even not not only just executing in the studio, but the I, I guess the added depth and dimension of the parts that the guys have come up with since the first album. I think Stu kind of really stepped up and and sort of took like his bass sound front and centre with liquor. I started playing my bass more like uh, a fat guitar, I guess. I, I stood on the distortion pedal and just started chugging away and. Um, and it just flowed from there. Being that, being that it is a new lineup too, I think you know it was time to broaden, broaden the um, spectrum. You know, it, there is it's it's lighter and heavier all at once. So um, I just think it uh, it was a little more open to to experiment with certain things, a little, and um, and a heavier sound just just came about because of that. The Dead Letter songs always being a very very personable tales, like it's not like a Malcolm X standing on a podium screaming at the crowd, it's more of um, you're the person in the crowd watching Malcolm X and you're gaining that personal revel uh, personal revelation on your own and like going, ah, get it. And that's where I kind of write from with the lyrics. And yeah, as a result, you know, this album is a bit of a reflection of, I guess, our seething anger and our want for change.